Welcome to the Riverwatch Macro Invertebrate Refresher video. This video details how to identify beetles used in Riverwatch stream quality calculations. So for Riverwatch, we use 37 different macroinvertebrates as stream quality indicators. For this presentation, we will be in the insect category, all the way down in the beetles section. So these are a few of the beetles. Um, beetles can be a little bit more complicated because a lot of their larvae and and a lot of for a lot of species the larvae and the adult lives in the water, so you have to be able to recognize both. So for Overwatch, we use the riffle beetle, whirligig beetle, and water penny beetle as stream quality indicators. Starting with the riffle beetle, this is kind of what they look like in the petri dish. So we have the adults over here and their larvae over here. The adults um, are a small black beetle, very dark color. Their legs look like they are um, over, like longer than they should be proportionally for their body. Then the, this is what the larva looks like under 10 times magnification. Well, like a leathery, uh, like a tan color to them. This is what they, the larva looks like under 30 times. It looks a lot like a caddis fly larva, like we just got, like we uh, looked at in the other refresher video. But they do not have thoracic plates. Each segment is the same from thorax to abdomen. Um, another characteristic of the larva is that they have a trap door at the end of their abdomen that covers, can open and close to cover their gills and protect them. For the adult, another good characteristic to look at is the split claw, so really long legs and the split claw on the end. That is the riffle beetle. And then that body shape is a pretty good indicator too. Next we have the whirligig beetle larva. These live in the water, so the larva and the adult live in the water, just like the riffle beetle. The whirligig beetle kind of looks, this is what it looks like zoomed out like down here in the uh, petri dish and then the adult up here so one thing you'll notice is that with all these filaments coming off the side it looks kind of like a the larva looks like a dobson fly or an alder fly kind of but they're usually a lot more pale and delicate looking and then you'll also recognize that there's a their head is a lot wider than their thorax on a whirligig beetle larva Another good characteristic to identify the whirligig beetle larva is at the end of their abdomen, so right back in here. They have one pro leg, so one fleshy appendage with two pairs of hooks, so a pair here and a pair here, used for anchoring in the substrate. So remember the Dobson fly had two pro legs, each with a pair of hooks. This has a single pro leg with four hooks on it. For the adult, they have um, best way to identify them is they have divided eyes, so eyes on the bottom of their head, eyes on the top of their head. This is when they skate around on the surface, they can see below them and above them at the same time. Another good way to identify them is that their abdomen projects beyond their wing covers just a little bit. So this is the abdomen projecting past its wing covers. So those are good characteristics to identify the whirligig beetle. Next we have the water penny beetle larva. So this is what their larva looks like. Here's what they look like in a petri dish. So just from your your eyes view, they can be a little bit different, some different shades, but they're all basically a round disc and flattened. This is the top, this is the bottom. The streamlining really helps them suck to the rocks well in the fast current and graze on the algae and biofilms of the rocks. This is what their underside looks like. They have uh, all their legs and gills and appendages are tucked up under there to create less drag in the water. So that's the water penny beetle larva. We also have non-indicator beetles. These are there are other beetles out there, but we don't count them towards River Watch water quality index. So you can note them in the note section of your bio, biological survey sheet. Um, and you, or you can just discard them back into the stream. There's several different kinds. This is the crawling water beetle larva. Very strange looking larva with a lot of filaments coming off its back. 
And this is the adult form. It also lives in the water. Predaceous diving beetle. Um, kind of has almost a, th a really thin tail, really big head is like just the biggest thing on it, a lot wider than its thorax is what they turn into. Water scavenger beetle has jaws like the predaceous diving beetle. The head is not a lot wider than the thorax and the tail doesn't get quite as skinny. And that's the adult water scavenger beetle and then also the long-toed water beetle. You might come across that. So there are be other beetles out there but we just mark them down as a you can put them in, their note, in your notes as a found a non-indicator beetle. So now you can test your knowledge to see if you see what you retained and uh, if you were able to identify all these beetles. Try to identify the riffle beetle larva in adult, the whirligig beetle larva in adult, the water penny beetle, lar water penny beetle larva, and the non-indicator beetle larva in adult. Um, so you can go ahead and pause this video now and then restart it when you're ready to see the answers. You can get a piece of paper and write it down or um, you can do it in your head. So you can go ahead and pause it now. Alright, hope that you got some answers written down. Let's go through these. The water penny beetle larva is A, that flat disc, round disc that looks like a penny. That's usually a pretty easy one. B is our non-indicator beetle adult, so this is not a river watch indicator. Um, he looks, C is the whirligig beetle. This guy looks kind of like a whirligig beetle, but he has a clear definition between his thorax and abdomen and head and thorax, whereas the whirligig beetle only has clear definition between his head and thorax. And then... Uh, D is the riffle beetle larva. So there's this trap door where the gills come out. Kind of the same body covering all the way back. That tan leathery appearance. E is a non-indicator beetle larva, a predaceous diving beetle larva. So you can see his head with the large jaws, three pairs of legs, and then uh, filaments coming off at the end of his tail. F is the whirligig beetle larva. These guys look kind of like they have those lateral filaments coming off. Uh, a lot of definite gap, big gaps in definition between their ab segments on their abdomen, and then you can just barely see it, the uh, proleg with uh, four claws on it. And G is the riffle beetle adults. So large, I mean a small black beetle, long legs, and split claws. Split claws right there. So, hope this video was a help to you identifying your River Watch beetles. Um, thanks for watching.